Good morning, everyone. Welcome to Marathon Mondays with Mal. I'm Mal Williams here at the Coburg Road location of Marathon Coach. I'm standing in 1270 on a cold, wintry morning in Coburg, and uh, we were talking this morning about uh, air brakes, and that's what we're going to do this morning. We're going to talk about some air brakes with the co-host of Marathon Mondays, Dave Bash. It's been a couple of weeks or longer since we had Dave on the show, so we uh, thought we would uh, track him down. I know he's uh, got a busy schedule, and so we're lucky to have uh, Dave with us this morning. So we're currently standing in 1270. Uh, 1270 is one of my favorite coaches because it's so versatile. 1270 is an X345 double slide, and it's a bunk coach with two sleeper sofas. So you've got lots of options. As you well know, Marathon is the best at the conversion of the bunks. And if you mind me stepping right here, I will show you bunk down. So when you're not using the bunks, you know that it can go all the way down and sit on the lower bunk. For today's purposes, I won't take it all the way down. And then you can drop a bar, use it right there simply as either another closet. You can use it for storage. I've seen people put dog crates in here, or if you've got large dogs that just like to sleep in luxury, boom, right on there. So, people can hear you, they cannot see you. People can hear me, they cannot see me. We're good now, and we had an issue, sorry. Are we back? Are we back? Should be. Can you double check that, Mickey? I could give you my William Shatner. Are we back? There we are. That was a little bit of Charlton Heston and Bill Shatner. Well, we're going to put this bunk back up. So for those of you who are sticking with us this morning, thank you. Let us know where you're watching from. Let us know if you've got comments or questions. Uh, like I said, we're standing in 1270. We're going to talk about air brakes. Um, I'm going to go over some of the uh, uh, testing of air brakes today. One of the things that uh, you want to really be... Uh, mindful of as your air brakes when you're talking about a Prevo chassis. So we uh, got Dave Bash with us this morning. Uh, the bunks, love the bunks. Let's move uh, through here. Another thing that, uh, you're right. Another thing that a lot of people have asked for on Marathon Mondays is to see the coach with the slides in. So uh, we're going to be able to show you that this morning because the slides are currently in on this double slide X3. As you can see, I can easily move around everybody. Dave Bash, there he is. And also, Perry Mason is on. So join us for some Raymond Burr watching. We've talked about it before. You've asked him to see it several times. This is, uh, the slides are in on this double slide. So you can really get around and move throughout it uh, fairly easy. Uh, you know, you can get over to the, you can get over the bed, you can get into the um, dishwasher, you can get into the refrigerator, you can get in and out of the, uh, this one actually has a booth style dinette. I love our booth style dinette. Let's move around here again. Sorry about that, Todd. So as you can see, when the slides are pulled in, I'm actually sitting in the slide right now. You can manipulate it fairly easy. Um, in and out. I love the squirrel planter. I pointed that out early. It's just simple decor, but it's a squirrel planter. I think my son would like that. Feeding the squirrels out back. I like it. So we're going to uh, sit down with Dave in the cockpit, and uh, I think we're going to pull this coach around the building. You want to pull this coach around the building? I can go unplug it if you want to. Yeah, let's do it. Okay. I'll go unplug it. So I think we should drive this thing and uh, then stop show you the air brakes we're going to pump them all the way down and then we're going to get the air back up in them and kind of show you how that is tested and why it's important to test your air brakes uh, dave's unplugging us right there furthermore while dave's doing that i can show you where's my galley unlock there it is as you can see, when the slides are in, you can still get into the refrigerator. Okay. 
Hope everyone's having a good Monday morning. It's quite cold here in Coburg. Uh, about 30, 32, 33 degrees. And uh, yeah, so we're gonna head on over here to the cockpit. Dave's unplugging it. Get a good shot of this. This is a beautiful cockpit. I love this two-tone leather seating here. You've got the wood grain on the dash and the, of course the leather wrapped dash. A lot of people like our new GPS that hides right there in the dash. The button, up you go. Remember what the bell's for? Um, I just unplugged shore power, so it's, a sh it's an alarm to tell us we've lost shore power. Over there on the left, you got that light that says shore, shore loss. Press it. Yeah. So what, what's the reason for that? Is that just because well, you unplugged the shore? So I unplugged the shore cord, and let's say you're in an RV park, watching TV, using the coach normally, and you lose shore power. How would you know it? Because most everything in here is going to work on the inverter, so it's right. going to still keep working until the generator starts up because of low battery power. Well, that's just a, whether you've unplugged it, put it away yourself, or it goes off accidentally. It's an alarm to tell you you've lost shore power. There you go. So Very nice. All right, should we take it around the building before we sure. pump, pump down the brakes? Sure. All right. We can do that. So let me adjust my seat here. Are you going to want to sit down here so you can be more stable? We sit right here. You know how Mal's driving this sometimes. Yeah, you can the chaps. I think we'll be all right here. <laughs> okay. All right. See belt you up. Make sure the uh, leveling is in push travel area on the leveling pad. Push travel. Left. Make sure it's in my pad level. I think I leveled it out when I parked it here. Check checking the leveling. All right. So, any questions or comments before we get going here, Mickey? Reginald says hello to everyone from Las Vegas, but especially Dave Bash, because it's been a minute. <laughs> <laughs> Ken says hi, guys. Robert says um, hello, and he's excited that everybody can see you now. Um, let's see. Ken says coming to you live from snowy Toronto, Burr. <laughs> uh, Jeffrey says hello from New York City. Um, Good morning. Robert wants to know, do you have to hold the buttons to lift and lower? To lift and lower what? The leveling system? Perhaps you will comment on that. Because yeah. it just says, do you always have to hold the buttons to lift and lower? Chris says hello from San Antonio, Texas. And he Good says, morning, Chris. Marathon is simply the best. And Pa and Ma Cartwright say hello from Tennessee, Mal and crew. Ma and Pa Cartwright. And Luke says, um, hello, well, hello from Belgium. Hello. Hello. Ma and Pa Cartwright say, where are they from? Tennessee. Besides the pon Ponderosa? Tennessee. <laughs> Tennessee. Okay, let's talk to Cartwrights. Who's your favorite Cartwright brother? If, if you had to pick from the three, what would you go? I like both Little and Joe and Haas. I was Adam. I like you Cornell like Roberts. Oh. Yeah, he's good. So ah. Robert wants to know about the bed. Do you have to hold the button still up to lower the bed? Yes. Anything that moves like that, they want you to be paying attention to, so you have to hold the button while it's moving. Just like the bunk, just like the slide outs, anything like that, they want you to be paying, atten paying attention to. Um, All right. Let's see. Hazards. And then all lights. Reginald, all lights. you'll want to get back to him on his question about shell weight, etc. Oh, shell weight? Yeah, we'll finished get back. coach. Yeah. yeah, we'll get back to him on that. Okay, so here we go. All right. Any other any other questions as we pull out here? Um, the co-pilot chair. Somebody wants to see it recline and see how comfortable <laughs> you can get, Dave. Well, if I have to. I know it's it's a tough job, and I'm so yeah. glad you're there to do it. Well, I'm moving it all the way forward so I can recline it because you got that sofa right behind. And there's a footrest too, right? There is a footrest. So I'm gonna show that afterwards. I I'm really. Gonna, well, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna stop the coach here, and okay. I am going to change the tilt on the wheel here because it's tilted a little high. Did you do it while you're driving? What's that? 
I know. <laughs> oh well, boy. This is reclined all the way back now. Now I've got a footrest. I've got a couple options here. I've got a footrest that I can use. Or I'm going to put that down. I'm going to put the back back up. I'm going to move the seat back. If I had long enough legs, I could put them on the dash. I see a lot of women going down the road like that. I don't know. With the legs up? Yeah. In cars and stuff. Oh, yeah. Don't put your... I have a picture of them in American coach doing that. Yeah. Don't put your feet up on the no, dash. No, I'm not going to put my feet on the dash. No, I don't mean you. I mean in, a, in any car. Uns <laughs> unsafe. That's between you and your wife or your significant other. That's right. Okay. So as we as now we I've got go, this footrest out. Yeah, that is a that's right a really here. nice feature. You also have the air slide down there. Yeah, I've got the air slide out also. So if I fall out of the seat, I'm not going to fall down the stairs. But yep. Bruce, thanks you, Dave. No Chris problem. says you're awesome. Mon Pa Cartwright say Cartwrights can't be partial, but they love Haas and hi to Dave too. And Conrad <laughs> says hello from Germany. You guys are doing a great job. Excellent. Okay. Haas. Very Haas good. is their favorite. You know, Haas and the Leprechauns was my favorite. <laughs> Do you remember that episode? Yeah. Haas and the Leprechauns, which is probably a favorite Haas episode. Yeah. Eric Haas Cartwright. A lot of people don't know that uh -huh. Haas's first name was Eric. Big fan of the Cartwrights. Remember the Ponderosa Ranch they had you could go and visit? Yeah. Okay, so. I'm wondering, do we have. And we're on the back side of Marathon here in Coburg. You can see the service department on our right. Several coaches that are going into service on the left. And it's break time, so got to be mindful of lot of the employees at Marathon coming and going from their vehicles, coming to get out of the building for a few minutes. I'm going to split the uprights here, Dave. You going to miss that hose? No, you know, that hose is a little out. <laughs> Should I, I'm going to go move that hose. I'll Just go so, move it. You want to go do it? Just I'll so someone it. else doesn't run over it? Thanks for bearing with us, everybody. We're gonna. There's a hose out here at the uh, at the water station. We're gonna make sure no one runs over it. So, uh, ideas. Let's talk about future ideas for Marathon Mondays, everybody. Would like to uh, have anyone email me, uh, malw at marathoncoach.com, if you've got any thoughts or ideas for future shows. Um, we have a lot of ideas, as we've talked about over the last couple weeks, uh, up on Pete Sutton's Draggy Race Board. But if you have any other thoughts, uh, just let us know. Um, also, you know, uh, Marathon Mondays uh, likes to profile new coaches and pre-owned coaches. Coaches that are uh, either new or pre-owned that are for sale. So if you have any thoughts or questions on that, you know how to get me. Mal W at MarathonCoach.com. Okay. I'm going to get past you here for just a moment, please. We'll take care of something. Look how foggy it is out there. Got a couple of, uh, when we turn the corner here, we'll be able to see um, a couple of shells that came in. One shell uh, just arrived, I believe, late last week, and the other shell was, is uh, getting ready to go to paint because I can see some of the um, painting striping uh, set up on it. Excuse me. All right. Sorry about that. Got two shells out here. Yep. Should we drive over there? Two H's. Little? Looks like one was already down in paint. Yep. It's had some work started on it. It's got the awning brackets on it. And it's got some pinstriping on it. It's starting yeah. to lay it out. And you can see those shells as we drive by them here. A lot of people like to see what the Prevost chassis looks like when we first get it from Quebec. There it is right there. And as you can see, with Interstate 5 right in front of us, it is quite foggy. All right, Dave, let's get into it. Let's talk about air brakes. All right. So 
I'm gonna pull up here and we're gonna we're gonna pump down the brakes. Tell me about the importance of checking your air brakes. Well, we test them during our PDI process or our audit process, and uh, we want to make sure that they are functioning properly. If you do in any situation lose your air brakes, when the air goes down to a certain pressure, the emergency brake is supposed to kick on automatically. And so that's what we test. Now we're going to come to a stop and you're going to set your parking brake. Take it out of gear and set your parking brake. Okay, so set to neutral. Yep. And pull the brake up. Yep. There we go. Now, look at your, you've got two air gauges on the dash there. Yes. You're going to want to get up here so you can see your air gauges. You have to see it from down here. I'll take my belt off. in this so corner over here. There's two air gauges right here. And at 60 pounds, they go into the red. So our test here, we've got the coach in high idle right now, which our RPMs are up about a thousand RPM. So what you're going to do, Mal, you're going to take the parking brake off, put your foot on the brake. So the high idle went off. Now you're going to start pumping the brakes, just pump them. And you're going to see the air gauges here start to go down, right here. Pump them a little faster. So when they get down to that red area, that parking brake should kick on. And you see we've got several audible, we've got the audible beeper going on. We, we've got a couple red lights here and a red light there that show us we've got problems. And we've got this low air system. Low system uh, air pressure. In the and all dash. The there. whole dash lit up. Yeah. And the air brake, the emergency brake just popped off. Popped on by itself. Gotcha. That's what it's supposed to do. On some of the older used coaches, it'll go down a lot farther before that parking brake will pop back on. Gotcha. But it'll do the same thing. And we look for those three things to happen. The visual alarms, the audible alarm, and for that parking brake to come on by itself. Okay. So. How, how, uh, how often do you suggest owners test their air brakes it's they can test it whenever they want yeah as you see it's it's a pretty simple thing to do sure and you can do it at any time anytime the coach is running some owners do it some owners don't right i do it on every pdi the audit team does it on their new coach check-ins how about prior to a, a you know a driving for the day let's say you're headed from coburg down to Sacramento. You can do it at any time. Okay. I mean, there's no set rule about when to do it. If you're concerned about your brakes, even if you've got a little bit of an air leak, I mean, that compressor that's on the engine should be more than compensating for any small air leaks. Okay. But if you've got a small air leak and you want to see how quick it recovers, you can pump that down at any time gotcha. during this situation and see how quick it recovers. All right. So, so what have you seen over the years as far as things that people should look for that would be considered either a failure or something not correctly working? Well, the biggest failure would be that parking brake not popping on like that. Gotcha. If you get in a, a situation where you've lost your air brakes and you're going down a mountain and that thing doesn't pop on, you're going to have to be using those truck ramps that they use for right. military trucks. Um, uh, but if things are working the way they're supposed to, that should kick on and you should be able to just pull over on the side of the road. So go into neutral, put on your parking brake. Mm -hmm. Take off the parking brake, pump the brakes Pump down, the brakes. And make sure it comes back Make sure on. it pops back on. Mm -hmm. Okay. All right. And then, like this coach, it took no time for it to get the air pressure back up. Right at the 60 pound where the, where the gauges start reading red, this one popped right on then. Right. Well, like I said, some of the older coaches, the uh, regulations weren't as strict and they'd go down to sometimes 20, 25 pounds before sure. the brake will kick on. Okay. But I have not seen one that the brake has not kicked on. They've always kicked on. They've always so. kicked on. But different different pressures, but they've always kicked on. Sure. So, okay. It's a pretty good system. Well, let's drive around the building one, one more time. Okay. Uh, Mickey. Why don't we trade places here? You can sit uh, here. I'll tell you what. So, 
while we're doing this and while we have uh, the resource of Dave Bash, let's um, let's just throw it out there. If anyone has any questions about air brakes, uh, any questions about uh, the mechanics of uh, the Prevo chassis, not to put you too much on the spot, Dave, okay. uh, feel free to comment right there on Facebook <coughs> and, and Mickey will ask some questions as we uh, drive around the building. I am going to put my seat belt back on. Such a comfortable seat. All right. You haven't even brought the air up. What's that? The air seat. The air, you haven't put the air in the seat, have you? No, I haven't. Okay, Dave. <laughs> that first one. That first one. Right. I'm on it. No, you got to push it. There we go. Now you, the big wide one's going to let you adjust the height. It's comfortable. Right there. Boy, I tell you. Whoa. <laughs> Let's just take you down a little. Yeah. There we go. Okay. That All air right. Ride. We have some story ideas, and then we have our first question for Dave. What well, would you like? Let's do a question for Dave. All right. Can y'all drive and lose the pressure? You can. If can you? you so the question was, can you, can you drive and lose air pressure. pressure while you're driving? Yes. If an airline breaks, gets cut. Or just simply comes off, which is, I don't know if I've ever seen it happen, but it can happen. Anything can happen. Uh, you can lose air. And if you do lose air like that, like you get a leak in the brake line, your parking brake is going to come on as soon as it goes down to a certain pressure. Great. Well, that's the only question we have for you at this point. Okay. All right. What story ideas for we have, uh, well, not surprisingly, our friend Phil McCracken says we should do a show in Indio. Um, we were just down in Indio. Well, apparently you should go down and in see Indio again. That is, a, that is a great idea. So thank you, Phil, for that idea for a show. You know, one of the things that uh, we could profile down in Indio is, uh, you know, usually when we're down in Indio, we like to show off the lifestyle. Um, and I know that we're going to be down there. I'm going to be down there a couple of times during the uh, during the season. Uh, I was down there about a month ago uh, for a, a party at a couple of different facilities. So yeah, we uh, we will probably be live from Indio another time or two over the next um, three to four months. I bet the weather in Indio is a lot different. <laughs> Then in Coburg today, I got 35 degrees right now on the back side of Marathon. I'll look, and look up and see what it is in India right now. All right. Reginald would like to see video with the case car with you operating the coach on the highway. Yeah, a case car. And um, Robert's going to email you a list today. Robert, yes. Is that Robert Joyce? That is Robert Joyce. That's my guy right there. Robert, send me an email. I need some I need some ideas um, that you'd like to see for Marathon Monday upcoming shows. We are coming up on 2018. I'm going to split the uprights here now that Dave fixed the... Uh... Chris would like to see a front view when activating the That's a that's a that's actually a, a good idea. Chris brought that up. Yes. So Chris Chris's idea for a Marathon Monday show would be to go over the awnings, and I can't see a better idea but to show him the awnings. How about we show him the awnings this morning, Dave? We can do that. That's kind of the beauty of Marathon Mondays and the live format that we have chosen to show you kind of the glimpse behind the scenes here at Marathon. We do have a weather report right now. Give me a weather report from Indio, California, ladies and gentlemen, Dave Bash. <laughs> right now in Indio, it says it's 61 degrees. It's supposed to get to 81 today. A high of 81 nice. in the Coachella Valley. For those of you who are interested, 81 will be the high in Indio, California. What's, this, what's the dash say in temperature is here right now? 30, it's still 33? I got 36. 36, wow. 36 degrees. Having a heat wave. 
Having a heat wave. Yeah. Okay, so. What do you think? Right here? Should I pull it to the front of the building? No, that's fine. Or All right. pull the front of the building. I like it here. Okay. Okay. Putting on the brake. Let's talk awnings. Let's head on outside and show everybody the awnings. And that's what we're going to do. And then K Rob says, Hello from Alabama. Will Marathon be profiling any coaches at the rally in Charleston in 2018? I'll tell you what, I will look specifically into the Charleston rally. Uh, with uh, Steve Irvin and uh, Pete Sutton and get back on that comment. That's a good that's a good question if we're going to uh, if we're going to do that. All right. Okay, careful your step out here. Still still pretty slippery out here. So Dave's got one of the iPads. Because this is a bunk coach, this coach has five iPads on board. You've got one in the bedroom, you've got one in the salon, you've got one in each bunk, and you've got one down in the entertainment bay. So he wants to see the awnings from the front. So let's head on over to the front. kind of shot you want to give them. Just going to go to the awning controls here. All awnings are chosen. Is it not sure. linked up? I don't know. Well, I'll tell you what, let's manually do it. We're going to manually do it. Could have to do with the, the weather this morning. So one thing we forgot is you can't pull the awnings out with the engine on. We haven't done that. <laughs> so is that a safety feature? Yeah. Sorry, folks. That's my bad. Very similar to... Uh, activating the slides. I probably got people yelling at me. Watching. <laughs> Turn off the coach! Not a there, problem. There is one who suggested it. <laughs> I love, I love our audience on these coaches. They are all fully extended. Now these new awnings like this are, they don't have wind sensors on them anymore. They have motion detectors. Built into them. So if the wind starts bouncing up and down one of the awnings, it'll retract. Very nice. So that's with them all out. And here they come back in. And they're going back in. Well, that's the beauty of going live. You've got to remember to have Mal shut the coach off first, and then we can pull the awnings out. But also, it's great that we can actually show you. Uh, the awnings, you know, someone comments, says, hey, let's see the awnings, and we can step right out the coach. And, and Chris thanks all of you for doing that. That's awesome. All right, so there it is, you guys. So we've talked about the air brakes and the importance of checking them and how to check the air brakes. So the checking the air brakes on a older uh, marathon 
and a new marathon is similar. Uh, Process is the same. You'll just get different pressures on the older coaches than the new. Gotcha. There it is. So feel free to comment right there on Facebook or YouTube. It'll be up on YouTube later this afternoon. Also, uh, let me know if you've got any comments or questions. You can reach me at malw at marathoncoach.com. It is uh, very cold out here, and uh, we really appreciate uh, the marketing staff being out here this morning in the cold Coburg morning. And uh, a big thanks to Dave Bash, obviously the guru as the co-host of Marathon Mondays. So uh, once again, Dave, thanks again for everything. I think we'll be back with Dave um, in the coming weeks. What do you got planned for Christmas? Staying home with my family. That's, that's exactly what I got going too. So everybody, we will uh, be seeing you next Monday on Marathon Mondays and hopefully uh, on my emails. Take care, everybody. Thanks again. Thanks, Dave. <laughs> no that was good. That was good. <laughs>